Hey guys, so today I really wanted to share with you my updated foundation everyday makeup routine and I figured I'd start off with the very essentials which also includes skincare and I know I've mentioned this a couple of times but I've really been enjoying the Vanny Cream. It's, you know, it's good for my skin, it's been clearing up really nicely so I love it and I've also been mixing in the booster drops from e.l.f. I believe these are the clarifying ones and they've been really good for me they have a witch hazel which I feel like has helped with texture because even though it looks like I have a lot of texture I don't uh, I don't see it as much when I have my regular makeup so I like to put a couple drops of the booster and then I mix it in with my moisturizer I always love to have very hydrated skin I think it's super important so I mix those two up and then just like that I apply it to my skin I get everywhere I feel like this really makes a big difference with my makeup application. It goes on a lot smoother um, and it doesn't look as cakey. After I apply my moisturizer, I also like to go in with an eye cream. I've really been enjoying this one from Ole Henriksen and it's the banana eye cream. I like to use my nail and just kind of apply a little bit under the eye like so. It's good for every day and it also brightens it up a little bit. I try to get as much sleep as I can, but you know, sometimes it's easier on certain days than it is every single day, but I feel like this definitely helps. Once my everyday skincare is complete, I like to apply my favorite primer. At the moment, I've been loving the YSL Touche Clot Blur Primer. This is a sample that I had and I was looking in my makeup and I figured, okay, what makeup haven't I used? And I found this and I was like, I've heard good things about it, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna love it. So I started using it, and let me tell you, my skin is super, super smooth once I put this on. I recently redeemed some points at Sephora, and I got one of the $100 gift cards, and I purchased the full size of this primer because like, I'm so hooked that it hasn't even been a month, and I'm already almost done with this, and it's a little guy, so. I feel like the, lot, the uh, bigger bottle is going to last me longer. And on the days that I don't use this one, I'm always using the Fenty. This is like my ride or die, but I've discovered the other one and I've really been enjoying it so far. So now that the base is on, I like to move on to the brows. I just feel like it gives me that polished look. Wait a moment. For my brows, I'm grabbing the Soft Matte Creamy Concealer from NARS in the shade Ginger. I also use the shade Caramel, but right now it's a little bit dark for me. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of like shape my brows a little bit. And a little product goes a long way. But I love doing this step, especially when they're not super clean or... Um, Room because I feel like I can fake it until I do get them done. I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out. Whatever you have left over on your brush, you can go ahead and put it on your lid as well. Grab my little beauty sponge. This one is nice and damp. And now that the brow has some shape, I can go ahead and fill it in. You can use powder, you can use a pencil, you can use a pomade. It all depends on the look that you're going for. I did mention that this is going to be more of my everyday makeup, so I do a combination these days. I like to use the, um, the powder, and I'm using two different shades depending on the occasion, but I like to use a soft brown on more natural days, and I use the darker side to really blend it out. And to fill in the brows and what I love about powder too is um, it's great when you're in a rush and then on the inner part I like to then grab the lighter shade just so it's not as harsh but still nicely filled in like so 
own. And I'm gonna do it the same steps to the other brow. Now that the brows are on, we can move on to the complexion. And I'm gonna use my favorite foundation of, I wanna say all time at this point because it's been incredible to me and the way that it just goes on my skin and lasts all day. And the foundation that I'm referring to is the one from Fenty Beauty. It is perfection. I did order one in a darker shade because I feel like this is a little bit light, but I'm able to work with it. Another honorable mention is the Frankie Rose foundation, which I recently discovered. Um, I know a lot of beauty gurus have mentioned that foundation and I just never got a chance to really go out and purchase it and I'm hooked. But nonetheless, for this video, I figured I would use the Fenty Beauty because that's the one that I use almost every single day. And I typically use the, the Morphe y7 brush but i just recently washed it so i'm gonna go ahead and use a different brush instead um i'm actually gonna use this one this is the sigma flat kabuki f80 it is dirty but i really wanted to use it um i washed it recently but they get dirty so quick so i didn't feel like washing this one today um but i apply a little bit on each cheek like so and then my chin and then I go in and I do buffing lotions. And you can already see that it's getting rid of that discoloration that I have on my face, which isn't that bad. It used to be so much worse. And then wherever you feel like you need a little bit more coverage, you can always pat. Pat and the foundation. And then depending on the day, I will add a little bit more. So I'm just going to go in and do a couple more drops. I swear I find Daisy's hair, Daisy my dog, um, everywhere. Now for this part, I'm going to do a little different technique. So I'm adding a second layer, not because I need it, but because I want to have a second layer. And I'm gonna go in with my Morphe sponge and just blend that in. For my concealer, I have two. So I like to use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and the Frankie Rose Cosmetics Concealer, which again, this is new to me, but it's been working really well. And for those short, uh, I'm just called it short. For the shape tape, I like to go in with a couple of dots. I don't do the full triangle um, like I do, but I don't focus too much on it. And then my forehead and my chin. A little bit on the sides. I feel like my chin is always super discolored. I don't know why. I'm assuming it's hormones, but I don't know. And then blend it out. I like to leave the under eye for last. And before I go in to blend it, I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of the Frankie Rose, just for highlighting purposes. You see, very, very tiny. Love it. Ooh, I just realized another really honorable mention is the Dior foundation. This stuff is superb. It looks beautiful on the skin and it feels very natural. Sometimes when I want to go for that, I just woke up, but like I don't want to look too beat up. <laughs> I'll use this and a tiny, tiny bit of the Fenty Beauty foundation and it looks beautiful. I love it. But this, um, this routine has really been working for me and I feel like it lasts throughout the entire day. And for me, entire day truly means 12 hours or more. More on like the, the 14 hour range. Cause I do wake up early, I go to work, and then I'm not the person that will take their makeup off as soon as I get home. I'll still have it on until the very end of the day just because, I don't know, I'm lazy. 
so I always need long wearing foundation. Whatever is left over on the sponge, I'm just going to go ahead and go over my eyelids as a quick neutralizer and also as my eyeshadow base. everything once more once I have that on my face I'm gonna go ahead and set it with the Huda Beauty powder I like to give it a little shake and it has that protector which I love because then the powder goes all over the place and grabbing my good old Sephora 79 brush just gonna lightly dab in there with all the extra powder back. And I'm placing this everywhere that I've put my concealer. And you can see it doesn't look heavy and that's my favorite part. Well, one of them for sure. I know it's like a little intense of a smell. It has that like floral scent that the foundation has, um, but it's still really nice. I get very oily right on top of my brow, so I also like to place that right there. And you'll notice that I'm really pushing it in because I don't want... I'm not really baking per se, I want to make sure the foundation stays where it needs to stay throughout the entire day. Now to set everything more in place, I'm going to be using the Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Deep. This is from MAC and it's about the same color as my complexion and I like to use the Airbrush 55 brush from Sephora. And this I am buffing into my skin. slightly going over the other areas as well. And I know it looks like a lot of makeup because it is, but I just, this is the way that I feel the prettiest every day, so I like to do it and it's what I like. So in the mix, I've also introduced some new products into my everyday routine. The first being the Dark Chocolate Soleil Bronzer from Too Faced. Let me tell you, I feel like I've used this in the past and I don't know what happened. I kind of like fell off of it and I'm bronzer crazy. But I recently ordered this because they had a 30% off coupon and you know I had to jump on that. Um, and it's perfection. It smells delicious. But I like to use my Morphe E59 brush which is slightly rounded and I think it's perfect for placing the bronzer but I'll tap it in here I'll dust it off and then I'll just go in and bronze my skin easy to blend but I feel like it actually gives me color because there's some bronzers that I really have to like pack on and I don't feel like they do much for my complexion but this one I feel like it does and then as for blush I've recently rediscovered the Too Faced blush in baby love this is the most perfect blush in the entire world and I love blush, but this one, I feel like it's pigmented, it lasts throughout the day, and I love my NARS brush blushes, don't get me wrong, but this one, I don't know, and I think it's like a little bit cheaper, I think, but I'm not sure. But it just gives me the right amount of color that I need for an everyday look. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that. And I like to kind of make the little, I don't know what the, the face is called, but I do this 
and I bring my cheeks up so I know where to place the blush. But look how pretty that is. It's like I'm trying to bring out cheekbones that I don't really have. For highlight, I've been mixing it up so often that I don't really have one that is like my everyday go-to. So for this look, I'm just gonna use the Becca Champagne Pop Shimmer Skin Perfector, and I'm just using my good old Anastasia A23 brush. It's the best. I'm gonna place that right on top of my cheekbones. And I'm gonna be very honest, I like to use this highlight because it's a little bit lighter than my complexion. But it doesn't give me that cast that some others have given me. I am gonna set it with some setting spray. And I've even been using, I'm making a mess out here. Um, I've been using the All Nighter again. This is the cherry scented one because, hello, it smells like cherries. Which I was a little scared because I did hear some reviews that people were talking about. Um, it's smelling like NyQuil, and I hate NyQuil, or like Robitussin. I hate cough medicine in general. So I was really scared that it was going to smell just like that. But I don't feel like it does. I feel like it's more of like a, a hauls, if you will. And that I don't mind, but I figured I'd share that that little tidbit with you guys but I'm just gonna go ahead and spritz this just so that way I don't feel like a face of cement which oddly enough I don't look like it even before that so I do like the me way that my skin looks so I'm gonna go ahead and spritz some on okay maybe a little cough medicine like but nothing that would Gross. And it's such a cute little bottle. I did get the cherry palette, um, and um, I will be filming with it soon, so stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, that is the face. I'm gonna do a quick little eye look for you guys so you can see what my everyday makeup consists of. I purchased this little palette uh, from Tarte not too long ago, and it's perfect for holding some everyday eyeshadows so some of these are ColourPop some of these are I think all of them are ColourPop actually there may be one or two that are Anastasia but or Makeup Geek one of the two but nothing crazy and I really enjoy it I'm gonna use a slightly different brush I know I have like a million of these 79 brushes but this one I use to set the eyeshadow I'm just gonna dip it into this color and if I find out what the name of the color is, I will put it below. And I love this shade because it's nice and bright, but not too stark where it looks crazy. So I'm just using that all the way in from the inner corner to the outer corner. This is also going to help to set in our to set in uh, the concealer that we used earlier. So packing motions. Like so. Don't poke your eye out. That is not fun. Ooh, like so. It's fine. Then with any blending brush that you have, you can use any sort of light brown shade. I'm going to use a mixture of these two. This I know for a fact is ColourPop, but I don't remember the name. If I do find out the name, I will list it down below. And I use these two right there. And they're very powdery as you can see but they're beautiful and I'm just gonna work that into my crease once you have your desired intensity you can go into a slightly darker shade just to give it some depth The closer you get to the brush or the ferrule of the brush the more intense it's going to be and the further away that you hold the brush the lighter it's going to be so just a little tip for you guys now that i have that desired intensity i'm going to do a little mixture of the dark and the second darker shade and i'm just going to kind of like push what is it called 
pinch the brush and I'm just going to go right under the lower lash line just a tiny bit. Just to give us that like rounded effect. Now this step is totally optional. I'm a wing kind of gal so I am going to put my wing liner and you guys have seen me do this a couple of times but I'm just going to do a quick one. when I'm doing this step I feel like I'm always holding my breath and I'm just like go they don't always look super even but that's okay get the gist and now I'm gonna apply my favorite mascara which is the Monsieur Big from Lancome and I love it so much. I feel like it really makes my lashes stand out. That's good. To the point where I don't need falsies. Which is what you want on an everyday basis. No one has time to apply some false lashes. At least not me. For my bottom lashes, I'm not gonna use the ones here big because I feel like it's just a little too dramatic. But I am gonna use the Colossal Big Shot in collaboration with Shayla. I'm just gonna place that on my lower lashes. Also another one of my favorite mascaras but the other one I just feel like makes them look really really big and then to round it out a little bit more I'm gonna go into this lightest shade lightest shimmery shade in the palette my little custom palette and I'm just gonna place that in my inner corners And for a lip color, you can pretty much put whatever you want. I'm gonna use this little juicy shaker that I have from Lancome, and it's in the shade Piece of Cake. I'm gonna go ahead and dab it on my lips. my lashes dry a little bit do you see that do you see how long they look oh, makes me so happy I can take this off and then zhuzh my hair a little bit I'm even gonna apply a little lip plumping lip gloss from Mac which I don't know if they still make this by the way but this is in the shade big baby I love the tingle sensation that it gives me. It's perfection. But there you have it. This is my everyday makeup look. This is exactly what I wear when I'm going to work. And I love it so much. It makes me feel really pretty. And I'm not too done up either. But it also doesn't make me feel like I have a ton of makeup on my face. And that I think is my favorite part. Plus, it just lasts all day. Like, that's what you need when it comes to everyday makeup. But yes, that is it for the video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what other kind of videos you want to see in the comment section below. And as always, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.